Cause I've been sipping on Henny. I got the study of my vision, and she ain't from the city. And she ain't foreign, and she boring. Love the way you. What's up, everybody? I'm Bill Rabbit. Today, we're here on Torque Drift to talk a little bit about low power drift cars. A lot of people have been talking about the, you know, low power cars having a problem drifting and stuff like that. So today we're going to get into some low power drift cars and uh, have a little fun with it. It's looking like uh, we got some sponsors to take care of and some sponsors to approve. Just our little audio up a little bit there for you guys. It is my own sponsorship, so we are going to just collect those. I have it there for, you know, aesthetic reasons. So it looks like we got the uh, Hidden Path and Speedway. So we're gonna hop over to Speedway real quick. So when I say low power, I say in the 400s. Uh, a lot of people are saying that, oh, what did I do? A lot of people are saying they can't drift unless they're over five or 600 horsepower. So today we're going to take out one of my cars that is low powered. And by low powered, I mean just over 400. This one is actually at a 602 probably drift that too but my brz is actually only at 437 so it's basically bare aftermarket parts are put on the car so we're gonna go here see if we can't find a battle and see what we can do with this car being only 437 against the 740 on speedway at cali bank we're gonna kick ourselves in the third gear and just uh full throttle this out kick ourselves in there try to throttle a little bit so we don't smack the wall but we still tap the wall anyways and lost our drift but we were able to drift the entire bank so you don't need an incredible amount of power to drift in this game you just need a good setup and uh well stay on power a lot of people a lot of people i see getting off power because you can tell when the uh exhaust backfires and they're getting off power which on a lower power car is not a good thing to do so that's why you see i'm constantly on throttle and then i use handbrake but i'm still on throttle when i use my handbrake that was a really low entry not the best entry i could have done so uh definitely we probably are not going to take the win on that one just because of that uh, low entry We're just off. We're gonna try and get a rematch. Oh, he wants a rematch. So we're gonna get a rematch on this. See if we can't maybe not smack the wall and maybe take a win. So I'm just doing this to show that you don't need an incredible amount of power or some super high power cars to have a lot of fun in this. Ooh, there we go, wall tap. Stay in angle. Use that uh, handbrake and gas at the same time. Re you know, maxing out the revs, getting off the clutch. Or get off the handbrake, still on full throttle. We got a 52 and a 57. So uh, he stepped up his game as well as we stepped up ours. So definitely going to uh, have to uh, make sure we initiate it. Good, we're gonna stay in second gear to start this one off. Ship in third. Ooh. Got a little bit of uh, behind on that. That's not the entry I wanted to do. But we will try and rail him in in the latter section. We are definitely outpowered by him by a few hundred horsepower. So, we just barely lost. Just a barely. We are going to get a rematch with this because this is a pretty close battle. You know, because we're, uh, we're right there. And, you know, we're at a low power deficit as well because we're uh, a few hundred horsepower short. Kick that in. Run the wall, stay nice and high. We definitely upped our game on this final run there. Throwing in some major points. Some 70,000 wall run. We're definitely gonna be able to take the win on this one, I think. So, goes to show, you don't need an incredible amount of power to do this. It is quite possible with 400 and some horse. And uh, as long as we up, as long as we don't bottom of our car there, log it out, initiate in, make sure we uh, stay nice and high on the bank, oops, too high on the bank there, but still nonetheless a decent a decent chase, so hopefully the, uh, the lead was enough to give us that win, we did, and he doesn't want to go against us again, oh, well, okay. 
So we are going to go to Cali Bank and do the beginnings course, the full course, and uh, see how we can do with a low power and see how it works. See what kind of, uh, not speedway, I just did the speedway in a, in a battle. I want to go beginning. I'm not free. The beginning. There we go. So, Cali Bank's beginning. We're going to run the whole course and see how we do in this uh, BRZ with uh, just aftermarket parts. We do have that trajectory line on now since we are in practice. That was a nice wall ride. Why couldn't we do that earlier? Let's tap that in there. Oh, just a tap. Gently graze the wall a little bit too much though. Take it this way. So practice does make perfect on these cars. Oh, a little bit too much in the wall. Not the not the run I was looking for. I was looking for over 100. So we're gonna retry that. We're gonna try and not smack a smack of the base and hit that wall, uh, wall with the back end of the car and lose our points. But so I know a lot of you guys are struggling on you know, lower car cars and maybe just starting out the game and not having a lot of power in your car so you can't, you don't think that maybe you can uh, compete or make a solid fluent run, but that's not actually the case. As long as you stay on throttle, use your clutch kicks and your handbrakes, you can definitely uh, do a very solid run in some low powers like that. That should be over 100,000, which was the goal. Or just 100,000. Or just under 100,000. I mean, okay. Just under 100,000. But we were able to uh, still uh, bang a pretty decent run in this car. Is it an extremely high caliber run for, say, the higher horsepower cars? No, because those are 150, 200 point, 200,000 point runs, and it's not helping you smack the wall like that. For that so 400 horsepower it is possible to get a very good run is it easy huh. obviously not if you take a look at what i'm doing right now it definitely is not easy but it is doable you still have a lot of fun with it you can definitely have a lot of fun chasing in low power cars um i did that a while back on a live stream of panda we were in some low powered s15s and we were just, just having so much fun on hakone so we go back to the lobby and we're gonna go to 600 horsepower s13 and see the difference in that so we get close to 100,000 point run with a 400 horsepower car so now we're gonna go to uh 600 horsepower car which we're gonna have to change our tires on because looks like we are almost out of uh those other tires we're gonna throw some nexons on here And we're going to throw out this S15 and see what the difference is between roughly 200 horsepower. I know it's not the same car, but you'll get kind of the gist of the idea of difference in the ability to throw the car longer distances and hold different lines and how much power and speed you can throw by having, say, 200 more horsepower. So, roughly the same run, though. Um, of course, I wasn't actually almost the same run exactly, so I wasn't exactly um, on my uh, wall rides and such, but it was still a decent run nonetheless. I know some people are probably saying, oh man, I run 140s, 150s all day. You know, that's that's fine and dandy, and uh, I, you know, give you mad props for running that all the time. Consistency is, I think, the hardest thing, and uh, practice definitely makes perfect, because that is definitely not the way I wanted to enter into that section against myself. But we can get some nice, uh, nice door love against ourselves there. So 400 to 600 horsepower, I feel, is very similar when it comes to uh, driving because 
I showed earlier I was able to keep up with a 700 horsepower car here when I was only running 400 so you don't need a stupid amount of horsepower in order to have fun with this game I have fun with this game on my low power cars as well as my high power cars so I think we're gonna switch up to a higher power car going up in little steps here just to kind of see the difference so we are gonna go probably that's over a thousand so 871 so six from 200 up to another 200 to this uh, MX-5 which I'm not sure if I've really even tuned this car too much we are able to uh, get some points on that ladder section in this rotary is that kind of way off and this uh car is definitely not does definitely not have the good suspension tune on it as you can see I'm way off all my points and just kind of all over and nowhere near the high score runs so just you definitely need a good suspension setup to run lower cars and have good good solid lines um, I can't you know stress enough suspension is a big thing and uh it's not always about the power. If you have a good suspension set up, the car will handle how you need it to, and you'll be able to throw those big lines and throw those amazing uh, lead and chase runs. So now we're switching up to even more power. We're going to the E46, one of my pride and joy cars. I love this car to death. And uh, a lot of people have seen it in live battles as well as uh, seen me throughout the day on uh, Getting some sessions, getting some, uh, getting some slides with this car. Definitely been uh, working a little bit more. Wow, that was a really wide swing. More and more on the tuning of this car as well as my S14, trying to get a more stable, uh, stable car, stable tune. Um, not the highest point run on that one either. Seems to be right at that 99 threshold. Can't seem to crack it, but we're getting there. So mainly I wanted to bring this torture video out to you guys to show you you don't need a lot of power to have fun and be able to throw those good lines. A good suspension setup helps. Um, if you guys check some of my other videos, I've shown suspension setups on my S14s and stuff, which we're going to bust out the uh, 1300 horsepower S14 and see how this does. Slam that thing right into fifth gear and uh, try not smack bumper too hard on the wall should have been a lot higher on that wall especially with this car but we were not this car can throw massive angle and see it's uh it's kind of twitchy at the moment and i think i need to change the uh, suspension tuning a little bit on this car i think we're gonna be right at that uh <laughs> right almost dead. Oh, this one's actually lower because I was nowhere near the walls. So, you need to definitely get a good dialed suspension where you can run against the walls. That's where the most points are had. I know there's a couple guys that I've seen that are running 400 and 450 horsepower that are running 200,000 point runs on uh, Cali Bank. So, I mean, it's, it's possible to run low power cars. You just need a little bit better of a suspension setting for sure we're gonna dive right in on our uh, on ourselves here I don't think it's gonna work oh boy almost took out my own car they're written off my own car just tap it is kind of fun to have that trajectory line and just be able to bang on your own door of your own car in practice. Practice is a big thing and a good dial suspension setup definitely helps. So just wanted to bring this out to you guys for a little bit, a little video here on Torque Drift, just uh, throwing some practice laps in some different cars showing you that I have a wide variety of tuned power bands in this game because it's always fun to have multiple different types of cars. Because you're driving these high power cars all the time, it's fun to go back to pretty much a grassroots car with not much power and just throw it around and use the weight of the car and have a lot of fun like that. 
So as always, you guys know, follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of which are found in the description box below. As always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I will see you guys next time.